Okay, everyone, and we're back with part two of Conquers Live and Reloaded. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I thought I'd give you a little taste of what Barry looks like because you didn't get to see her very much in uh, uh, the last video. So, yeah, she's they kind of have her like as a barmaid or whatever. So, yeah, let's. Uh, Continue where we left off as soon as I remember. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, those nasty, nasty wasps. Whatever shall we do? My beautiful hive is gone. Oh, I'll never see it again now. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Please get it back for us. Otherwise, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. I'll go and get it for you. Now, where is it? Oh, just full of the signs. <laughs> That's convenient to have signs to show you where to go. Sorry about the camera angles. I, I actually have a lot of trouble killing these things. And yes, I know I do this weird jump when I do that, but I have no idea if there's a more effective way. Sometimes I get lucky and I could get like two hits on these things, but I really don't know the mechanics. I'd have to look it up, you know. Maybe I'll try checking that out, but for now, this is what I gotta do. And there really isn't too many enemies that you have to like beat up other than those guys. Those seem to be like the main ones. That you get to beat up with the bat. Later on, you'll get like other weapons, like a gun and stuff. Uh, these guys are funny. Hey, some wise guys trying to steal our nice new hive. Come on, boss, let's go get it. Yeah. And I love this music. So I'll shut up so you can enjoy it. Gotcha. Oh. oh, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. And none of this would have happened if it weren't for that no good husband of mine. He's gone off, you know, with another woman. Oh, really? That doesn't surprise me. What? Nothing. Anyway, as a reward for your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. Somebody call for me. I love that. Who wants some of that dough? Yeah, cash prizes. I should try making a little animated gif of his eyes rolling like that. With... All right, who's this? Looks like uh, one of them skills. What happens you get down there? Kick the shit out of him. Nah, right, well, wait till he comes up here, all right. Okay, then, yeah. Hello. It's me again. There's Birdie Mr. again. Scarecrow Birdie. Right. What seems to be the problem? Oh, yes. You need manual. Otherwise, it uh, uh, doesn't work. Money. I cost you. Oh, how much? Uh, I don't even know what that bucks. is. What? Don't matter. Actually, uh, I think, uh, well, uh, uh, uh ten dollar. Long time. My brother and I quote that yeah, all the time. Long. That love manual long time. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Manual. Just press B. 
What does a scarecrow need with money anyway? Okay, suit me. I guess to buy more booze. Naturally. Ah, seems to be an instruction book. Oh, I see. It's for the more complex zone. It'll appear the first time you use a more complex zone. And if you Sorry about it, the cars in the background. Uh, press, I should have recorded it just at night. Time. But I was in the mood to doing it now. Just press um, so, yeah. Let's see now. Use the right thumbstick to aim, and then the right trigger to fire. It's after five, that so. Simple enough. Okay. Yeah, this uh, manual that you use. Uh, I think you only use it twice in the game. It's been a while. Okay. Uh, this isn't too terribly difficult. Um, usually you shoot. Usually you want to wait. You don't want to just keep rapid firing because the control is a little tight with the movement to kind of aim. So I usually get their attention and I wait because they could dodge you. You'll see. Say, look, you just dodged me. Boom. There we go. All right. Yeah, sometimes my I get a little distorted from the angles because I'm like, where the hell am I? Just follow the bug parts. Hmm. Let's see. That way, or that way. Hmm. That way smells a bit pooey. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, Conker knows where he wants to go. You can go either way. I usually take this path first. And I believe we're in for another cutscene. So, what is the key elements in this experimentation? We have the table, yeah? The milk in the glass broken. Ah, I see problem. Oh, and the silverware. Hmm. Seems to be a... Hmm. I must do some experiments, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And we will saw this out. And when my head is... Then... You know, I just noticed his glove. I can't oh, yes, tell what... Doctor. It, 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 I don't know if it's like a sock puppet or an oven mitt. I can't tell what it is. It looks like an oven mitt. I think it's had some writing on it. If anybody notices the writing on it and can, you know, see what it is, uh, please leave a comment. Whoops. See what I mean? I hate killing these things, but the nice thing is, is once they're gone, they're gone forever. Um, I think they take five or six hits. Okay, five hits. I can't do anything with that flower yet. See what I mean? How I got double hit there? It, it only happens once in a while. I'm just gonna get this guy out of the way. Because I'm gonna need to... Ah, I got hit. Okay. So, now, you could forget this, so... Go here first. You need to talk to this dude. I see you. I see you, little fella. You better get this fat ass bitch off from my back pronto. Gee, so many people around here want me to solve their problems. What are you gonna do for me then? 
I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I say, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You get rid of that freaking mouse, Claire, uh, and maybe I'll help you out. Just maybe. Oh, just one more thing. I say, just one more thing. You make one into my friend, Bird. Just mention my name, Jack, and everything will be just dandy. Yeah, there's a lot of these guys here. Hi, you must be Bert. I'm Bert. Jack sent me. I'm opening it for you here. And you can get on with what is ever that you're trying to do. That's all you do? Great. Yeah, if you don't talk to Jack first, Bert won't open the gate. You have to talk to him first. Uh, I forgot it when I was showing my brother. Uh, I was going to, as I mentioned uh, the last video, I was going to have my brother play the original, but he's never played any of the Conquer games, so. And uh, he did play some of it, just to see how it was, and he did pretty bad. He had no idea what he was doing. I was giving him directions, although I hadn't played the game in years. I love this cheese guy. Now this rat, um, I believe his voice, uh, I don't know who does his voice, but, uh, his voice, I think he does, uh, the guy that does the rat's voice, I think does, uh, the voice of, uh, the pitchfork guy. That's gonna be coming up. I'll mention it when it happens, but there's another character in the game, and uh, I noticed that the voices sound a little similar. So, um, and that happens sometimes, you know. Save money, we'll have a voice actor do, you know, multiple characters. <laughs> One more should just about do it. By the way, getting this cheese is a lot easier uh, in this version. Uh, in the original one, there's not a lot of room to get past these things. Like, see how there's how much there's how the see how much room there is to squeeze through, be, you know, squeeze between these crate things. So, yeah. I love the blinking eyes. Now, when I first saw that tail with the things and it zooming, I always thought, oh, that's my new weapon, right? I couldn't have lasted a moment longer there. Thank you very much, Mr. Squirrel. Now, there's something real neat inside that barn. You just gotta get in there, Sonny. Yep, that's what they do. This could be a little tricky. Yeah, I ended up pushing the button. So, you want some great stuff? 
Yeah, I think the round's on me. I'm gonna get tanked tonight. <laughs> Usually, if you don't want to get take any damage, it's better to go safe and just jump down there very carefully. Let's take this little shortcut. Okay, and in the barn we go. I love how he picks on the little guy. Hey, you over there. Huh? Yeah, you. Apparently there's something real neat inside this barn. Uh, I can't quite see it myself. Unless, of course, some guy's jumping around stinking a horse poo's real neat. Which, uh, of course, it isn't. <laughs> this is pretty neat. I love these characters. Just coming in through the door. I think it's your turn to kick his. Is it your turn? Is it his turn? Yeah, yeah, I think it's his turn. Yeah, Frankie, go and kick his ass. Go on, go on, kick his ass. I ain't kicking it. But it's time. It's always my turn to kick my asses. Frank, just go over there and kick his ass. Frank, for f***ing sake. Yeah, yeah, go over there. Kick his ass. Somebody's got to kick his ass. It ain't gonna be me. I'm a, I'm a rock. Now you don't kick ass. But I'm a paint pot anyway. I'm a f***ing paint pot. Go and kick his ass. I, I, uh, okay, I'll kick his ass. I'm not going over there. He can come over here. Okay, okay, hey, hey here he comes. Quick, quick, just keep still, keep still. <laughs> yeah, just listen to the pitchfork uh, guy, character, and you'll you'll hear his voice. Okay, I got full health. Uh, listen to his voice, and I'm pretty sure he's done by the same person that did the rat. What the damn diddly squat are you doing in my barn? Well, I never. It's a talking pitchfork. Not from around here, are you, boy? No, I'm from the 21st century. I don't rightly recollect liking your type. Therefore, I conclude that I was gonna kick your butt all around this barn like there's no tomorrow. I was gonna stick my big fork right in his. Were your parents related, like before they were married? Right, that's it. I was just gonna give you a whooping. Here we go! Okay, so this isn't terribly tricky. Uh, you wait around, around these haystacks, and usually he'll, he'll gesture before he attacks, but you just uh, stay as close as you can. You can kind of trick him into uh, hitting the thing. Flying is kind of a pain in the ass to get him to do it. It's a good way to dodge, but usually he ends up missing a hay thing. Usually I try to do like a curvy thing where I kind of jump and then kind of curve around so he'll because he kind of he doesn't always go like completely straight kind of aims for you right before he stabs. So. I'm actually doing relatively good usually I do not do this well on this part. Hopefully, I could do it without getting hurt. This little guy is a pain in the ass because he's so tiny. Ah, did I get him? No, I didn't get him. Okay, so come on. Hit this damn thing. There we go. I got him. Of course, he got me too. All right, so there we go. I've seen some kicking ass in my time, and that is the shittest, crappiest, crappiest, shittest kick ass I've ever seen. Yeah. I, yeah, that is pretty crap. I, kick, as kicking ass goes, it was abysmal, and you is a sh bastard, stupid bastard. <laughs> Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he sure is. So, what are you gonna do now? Kill yourself, because that's what I recommend. Yeah, you should kill yourself. And Matt, we got a rope right here, and we got a rope. Yeah, we got a rope. There you go. <laughs> what kind of friends are you? I just, uh, oh, in that case, I is gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself right now. That's all there is to it. I don't know how the hell he gets up here. What are you doing? <laughs> you stupid bastard. 
<laughs> is you a neck? Yeah, look at you up there hanging there. You stupid bastard ain't got a neck, are you? He ain't got a neck, has he? I already said that. Shut up. Oh, okay. I don't believe this. I don't appear to have a neck of any description. In fact, I ain't got an esophagus. Oh, diddle die damn. I was gonna be up here for some time. Don't worry, we'll help him. Yeah, if you want, you can kick these around or you can squash them. They follow you around, which is a little creepy. Look at well, ah! Stop looking at me! Ah! ah, ah. All right. So, yeah, you could see there's the paint pot and the paintbrush. All right, now we can open this. You couldn't open it before until you defeated him. Oh, who's this guy? It looks familiar. All right, let's open this thing. Uh-oh. It's Daddy Haystack. Actually, I don't even know his name. <laughs> yes, it's me again. Right, time to wander around aimlessly. Boom. I love that. <laughs> when he jumps. Okay, time to meet another friend. Hey, buddy. You spare me a dime. Hey, buddy, don't ignore me. Oh, they always ignore me. Hey! Uh, oh, what do you want? Do you know, in my own country, I am a king! Oh, really? Yeah. That bitch threw me out. Apparently, the hive keeps getting stolen. Well, I don't care. I couldn't fit in the f thing anyway. You've seen how fat she is, bitch. Now I'm reduced to the states of a bum. Uh, well, yeah, anyway, yeah, I gotta go now. Uh, you're like the rest of them. I ain't gonna tell you about the big breasted babe then. The, the, the big one? <laughs> uh, thought that might have got your attention. She's lovely. That's why the wife kicked me out. Uh, all I wanna do is pollinate her. Oh, she's got stigmas like you wouldn't believe. What do you mean? I thought you said you had big... Yeah, over there, behind us. Hang on a second. Breast. She's a sunflower. Yeah, what did you expect her to be? She's a sunflower with big breasts. I'm a bee. Stupid bastard. Okay, I don't need to get offended now. Sorry. You gotta help me out, buddy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, hmm. What's in it for me? Cash? That'll do. But I thought you were begging. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Can you help me out here? <laughs> There's a guy over there, he said he wants to... Someone to do with stigmas. Not quite sure. Pollinate you? That's a bit strange, but... Go away. Ooh, that big tail of yours is far There's too some tickling. suggestive dialogue <laughs> no, here. No, you don't understand. Hey. Get that big, long, hairy tail away from me. <laughs> I'll suit yourself, then. Hmm. Be like that. Okay, now first you have to go here. There's some, uh. Yeah, you have to go over here first. I got a plan. 
So yeah, there's uh, five bees uh, groups and and you have to do that. I think it work. Oh, looks like I need more. Hmm, where could they be? So that's the first group. This is the second group here. Alright, come on, get up there. Ah! See what I mean? Uh, because I fell from quite a big height, uh, I lost two uh, health candies. So, yeah, you gotta be careful. Let's grab this chocolate here. Uh, there's the third one. Now, of course, you could jump down, but. You know, I could risk getting killed, so, but there is one more up here, I think. Come on. This one's always hard to do. Come on, get up there. Ugh. Come on. I always have trouble with this part. Oh, missed. Okay, I have to go here, I guess, by this pole. There we go. Let's get this chocolate just in case. There we go. And we'll just helicopter right to the ladder. Ah! He wouldn't grab it! I thought he would have grabbed it. We'll have to come up here later on for something. Wait a minute. Wait. What the hell? There's supposed to be bees right there. See in that corner right there? Where that, that, that wood connects to the barrel? Yeah, see? Right there. There's supposed to be bees there. Right over here. Alright, so apparently they must have changed it. Yeah, in the remake version of this game, uh, whoops. Oh no, I lost the goddamn bees. Uh, I guess I'll have to get them back. Uh, Alright, let's go down and get them again. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, in the original, uh,. 64 version those bees are supposed to be right there I don't know why they aren't I guess they thought it was hard to get up there gee I wonder why all right whoa 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 whoa, whoa. wait get the bees first there we go all right hopefully I won't screw up again and lose them oops at least they don't fly away when that happens I can't believe it. Why aren't they in there? No! I have to get them again. Come on. Uh, so this is what happens when you get frustrated when you're playing a game. And you think I'm frustrated now. Trust me, man. It gets worse. It is a terrific game, and screw it, I'm going this way. I don't even care. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to show you where the uh, last group of bees uh, 
Oh wait, no, I mean two groups. Uh, the next group is over here, and I am going to show you uh, where the bees are that were supposed to be up there on that barrel, but aren't. Oh, well, okay, they aren't over here. Oh, there they are. Let me turn these in. I don't know if I could get... Drop these off. Wonder what's gonna happen when I get the last bees. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I think I know where they are. Is it up here? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I had to get all the bees and then go up here first. Let's take a look. Maybe they don't appear until you get the right ones. Ugh, I hate this stupid... Let's check. This tail is pretty big, isn't it? No, they aren't there. Where are they? What's he swatting at? Uh, he was going to take out his Game Boy and play it. <sighs> okay, let's go down. Alright, so apparently uh, the programmers, as mentioned earlier in the beginning of the game, Conquer is right. Or, uh, the... Not Conquer. The, the, the Gargoyle was right. The programmers did change a lot of stuff in the game. It's not just that one thing. They really did change stuff. And the B movement is one of them. So let's see, are they over here? No, they're not over there. I know I'm wasting time, but there's nothing I can do. That crate will be important later, so don't worry. Oh, there they are. Oh, there's another one of those jerks. Let's take him out. Out. Hey, it's not nice to hit people. Especially if we're a cute little fuzzy. Any more? I think I got him. Let's put this away. Yeah, don't jump. Uh, uh, as you probably know, bees do not like water. Just walk across that. Okay, so, look at that. Whoops. Oh, man, that hurt. Let's see if we could do it this time. I don't know how I'm going to get down. I think in the, the uh, original version of this game, uh, 
you have to bounce twice. You kind of have to bounce and then kind of land on him again and then bounce the second time to get up here. I guess we'll just jump. Uh, we died. Well, game over, folks. Well, wait a minute. Are we in hell? Let's watch. Yes, you boy, boy, you're dead, dead. You are dead, 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 Grim Reaper, don't laugh. Aren't you a little shot to be a Grim Reaper? Well, how many Grim Reapers have you met before, mate? What, what am I supposed to look like? Yeah, that's a good point. Well made. Now, let's see. Ah, yes. Conquer. Surname? The Squirrel. The Squirrel. The... Oh, bloody hell, you would have to be a sodding squirrel, wouldn't you? Why, is there a problem with that? Well, yes, there is, actually. It's like those bloody cats. Such a pain in the ass. You're one of these special cases. Oh, really? Yes. Apparently, according to the powers that be, I'm just doing my job. I do what I'm told. I don't even get paid very much. Apparently, squirrels can have as many lives as they think they can get away with. That makes sense. Oh, I see. So I'm not dead. You're dead, but not quite. <laughs> right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Just you wait, smart ass. You don't get out of it that easily. Now, the thing is, you may not be dead, but that doesn't mean you can't die. You just have a few more, shall we say, chances. Yeah. Like cats. I hate those things. Right, distributed around your little world are these tail things. Squirrel's tails. If you can get them, I'll give you an extra chance. Understand? Um, well, it sounds a bit strange, but okay. Strange? It's the best bloody deal you're going to get, you little prick. Right, that's it. Piss off. I've got some cats to see. Things. I hate those bloody cats. The way they meow and they piss everywhere. And their shit smells just... And their shit bloody smells bloody awful. awful. I think that's what he says at the end. It's really hard to hear, but... Yeah. So there's only way one way out of here, so. Okay, so how we get out? Oh shit. Giant bony hand. Okay, yeah, Greg is one of my favorite characters in this game. Alright, folks, so um yeah, we're not dead. I will see you in the next video, so I will see you next time, so later all.